Welcome back, everybody. Uh, I meant to put out a video yesterday of all the VR changes and stuff, but some terrible weather rolled through here, and two of our towns are flooded, and they're having to rescue people and everything since about 5 this morning, so it's been a, an interesting time. Here, it's later in the afternoon. VR changes, we'll touch on it here and there. Uh, the Phantoms are in such a weird spot, so many of them got moved up to around each other, and it's just been weird. Like the Kronos... Kronos 2000, yeah, I can. I think the Kronos is already, what, 11.0 or 11.3? That one's not too bad. The Kronos 2000, uh, yeah, a little bit go up. But then the U.S. Phantoms, the German Phantoms, all that stuff, they all went up into, like, a similar position within just a little bit of a BR range of each other. And now 11.3, the 11.0 to 11.7 area is wonky. And people are feeding on Phantoms. It's, it's not that hard to find a bunch of matches with stuff that shouldn't be here. Yeah, I think this is probably still was a 10.7. Okay, so they did make the lowest tier phantoms 10.7. So, okay, I thought the German ones made away from that. But yeah, there's just a ton of phantoms that the uh, poor Phantom UK went to 12.0. Uh, granted, everything did move up almost like a full BR on the top end of things. My poor Kefir Canard is now 11.3 and actually has to compete for bases. Uh, that's probably the biggest change here. You know, let's do a match in this thing. I haven't played her in a little while. We need some SL. We need about another 2 million SL to uh, do some expert crews on stuff. And let's just see how this, how this does. We take 22 minutes of fuel, five 1,000-pound bombs, and we beeline it for a base. At its other BR 10.7, you were nearly guaranteed a base. Nearly guaranteed. Let's drop all. You know, I never really changed that around much. Let's go ahead and see. Phantoms. 12-3. And this is the issue I keep talking about with how heavy the F4S is. It's dragging things up to it and down to it. That's why your F14As are still seen. That <laughs> oh, wild one. Nose came off the ground. Uh, that was weird. I wouldn't put my nose up, but okay. Yeah. So many of Force Phantoms. I think they're outdoing the amount of MiG-23 on L players that were at one point. So are we going to make it to a base? Probably not. Granted, we will be faster than the Phantoms once we're at max speed, but they've got the initial thrust. So we're probably not going to beat them to a base, which is unfortunately sad. This was one of the best SL grinders in-game for aircraft. In my personal opinion, I'm pushing 400 games on it, roughly. And I can't tell you how many millions of SL things grinded out. Yeah, I mean, look at this. They're already a kilometer away. There's no way I can hit any of that. And the way the bases are set now, this is death right here. Because these guys are going to go left, we're going to go left. So we've actually got the worst spot. Is that MiG-23 MLs? Yeah. So uh, we can now see... Well, we could already see MiG-23 MLs, but we'll see them a lot more. Because I don't think they went up at 11.7 and we're at 11.3. If they would have given this thing double the amount of flares and chaff, okay. Maybe give them a better missile than the A9G. And maybe an A9L. But yeah, this is going to make the Kefir Canard a lot more difficult to play and a lot less fun to play, I think. And this wasn't a Sil Clubber, this was a Sil Clubber of bases. Or at least one base in particular. So, there is that. Yeah, we're finally starting to gain on the Phantoms, but I don't think we're going to make it to the bases before, you know, somebody else is going to get within rocket range. Which is unfortunate. It really is. Uh, you're still within AMRAM range right now, unfortunately. Man, I've got to climb or I'm going to hit. Yeah. The F4E. Yeah, I know I'm too fast. It's another thing. We can't drop our bombs over Mach, where most of the Phantoms, I think, can. So, you know what? We're probably just going to cut to the second base over here. You know what? No, well, maybe not. Let's see if we can get this base. We need to be below Mach, unfortunately. So as we're coming in...
Got to play the, uh... Nope. Try to get him to get off of there. Oh, yep. We were not going to get that base. That's an F4E Kai. We should not be seeing that thing in the same BR as this. Take the weapon selector off. I'm just got the dumb bomb. And no. So we will not be getting uh, said base. Rocket carrying phantoms. And it's already bad enough the phantoms are a problem. The F4S as it is, so unfortunately I can't say the Kafir Canard is goodbye anymore. You're not gonna make it to bases, and that's pretty much what this thing excelled at. Yeah, you can dogfight with it and everything, or you can wait five minutes now. So now we have to wait until about 15 minutes left. The game will be over by then. So, and we're almost out of fuel because we brought our base bombing fuel. And that's a Su-22. We will go cold. That's Su-22 versus an F4S. That's just... Come on, Gaijin. So I'm not a huge fan of these changes in some aspects. Basically, anything that's not 10.0 got a huge decompression. So things that normally don't have flares and all aspect missiles... They are the biggest boon of this, which is good. But now we've got to deal with things like, oh, here's Mirage. I wasn't really trying there. A Mirage 2000. So, yeah, the BR changes have been wonky. They've knocked out some of my favorite stuff to play, which I'm glad I got the Israeli tree basically unlocked. Um, yeah, there's... Kafir Canard, you can go ahead and put it on the shelf now. At this point, you need to be running the Kranos or the 2000 to grind everything else with the Talisman through here. Sweden, 11.3. I think this should be 11.0, in all honesty. It's not that great of a jet. Oh, I hated every, almost every minute of it. Sometimes you get good kills, sometimes you can't. You have 12 flares. This thing here going to 12.0, yes, that needed to go to 12.0. Granted, some things moved around, all the mirages, 12.0. Everything did kind of decompress, but they did it weird. Like, the TAF, it, it should have stayed 11.0 where it could actually do stuff. The AMX-1A, no clue why they moved it up. It's got two good missiles. It's slow, that's the only thing. Granted, it's got countermeasures, but that's it. Uh, there's so much stuff in here that I have no clue. Like the A5C only going up 0.3. Like, why? That thing's balls crazy if you've got it. You got two magic ones. It dumps on people. The J7D did stay the same, which it needed it. It has no L aspect. So, Japan, yeah. Some of the best phantoms in the game, and they're crowded there with all the other phantoms that are not that good. <laughs> so, why is this one the same BR as this one? It's supposed to be the same thing, but this has a terrible radar. And a terrible engine on it. I'm just griping. Griping a little bit. But yeah, there's been a lot of changes that I don't understand. But it was a rushed change. The Su-22 M3 does not need to be 11.3. This thing can go to 10.7. It doesn't have that many countermeasures. Yeah, it gets 12 countermeasures. And you get 6 R60 ohms. Which don't really mean a whole lot. So yeah, it's kind of like my take on it. I said I meant to do a video the other day. Unfortunately, I do need to take this thing out and start grinding it. <sighs> I need the ground ordinance. I do need the ground ordinance. Mm. And I really haven't played this thing. The Su-27 went up to 13.3. Like, why would you ever take this thing out now? MiG-29, yeah, I can kind of see that. The Fulcrum... It's in a better area. It's right there with uh, the F-14B, and it can stomp on people. It's no lie there. It has been a blast to take out and play again. But, yeah, we need to take this out. We need to get our ground ordnance unlocked. You know what I need to do? I need to put a skin on this. Rule of cool. What do we got? That's always neat. Uh, let's see here. High altitude. Track color. Eh. No, I'm looking good. Let's go ahead and take this out for another spin. So I want to say the R77s are actually worse 
than the mic is. That's just me. Like, in all honesty, that's what I think. And the flight model's not that great. It's fast, I guess. Like, if I'm going to launch an AIM-120, I typically want to be within 35-ish, 30, to make sure they're hitting. You need to be almost within 20 for the R-77s to hit, because they have so much drag. But granted, I'm going to fly high and see if I can make it work. If people are down below you, that extra drag isn't that terrible, because they're traveling down to gain speed. If you're up in the air, it's... Yeah, you'll see. You'll see. But yeah, as far as the VR changes go, uh, top, I think the 12.0 and up area needed it. Maybe some the 11.3 area. But it feels like this VR change is a little rushed. And they still have the same problem with... I think it's still 50 kilometers. Yeah, somewhere around there. With the player base being so heavy on certain premiums, it's just dragging everybody to it. I will give this for the Su-27SM. A lot of times, your F-15s and F-16s are taking the full six AIM-120s, which is fine. Well, after that, if they didn't bring at least two 7 ohms or 9 ohms, you have the advantage there. But everywhere else, they've got the advantage on you. So, um, you can see F-14s now. It's hilarious. I took out my F-14B and was not doing too terrible in it, but wasn't doing great either. It just This shows the meta right now. This is my meta right here, the F-15JM. But the C, 16Cs, and the F-15Cs. That's what rules this guy's. So. And honestly, it's been kind of boring. Like, I've been taking out my Japanese F-15. It's cool and everything to get triple kills and stuff like that, but you get bored really quick. I completely forgot to, uh... Yeah, changed my flares and chaps up around. I don't even think I got my flares and chap unlocked. I was just raw dogging, dodging missiles. Now, I think they can see us before we can see them. What we can do is fire early and force them to turn. But that's no good with these missiles. <laughs> it won't even lock right now. Okay, there we go. We'll go and toss one out. And he's fired. TWS is off the track. He's trying to actively dodge. Come on, R-77. Do your thing. So I'm within 25 kilometers. He's heading away, so he's dropping chaff. Oh, here's his buddy over here. Come on, unlock it. We're just going to launch it and leave it. That's actually chaff I just locked on to. Now, I don't have any chaff myself, so kind of ride around at a 90 degree angle. Why are these missiles not locking? We're going to die to 120 right here. We, we got no chaff, so... Best we can do is just keep crawling to the side here. Keep turning slightly to burn the missile's energy out. Yep, the F-16 has turned away, and he actually died. Thank you, Mr. F-15. There's another one behind me. I'm just going to try to get a kill here. We'll fire off a couple of them. This is in Bulldog range, so... We'll just dump all that we got. I'm going to try to outrun this uh, 120 that's behind us. And do we get a hit? Way, we got a kill. We got a kill out of all that. And with our TWS being wonky for some reason, and not wanting to do what it's supposed to do, yeah. We got three R-73s, we're still dangerous. We're just not dangerous to anything that still has radar missiles. There's an F-16. I wonder if we can... Yeah, there we go. We need to be within four kilometers for these things to really work well. That's another 120 he just lobbed out. And you can tell by how slow it goes off the uh, the rails for that. Go ahead and launch one. Looks like he's turning into it, which works for us. Is he seriously going to turn into that? He did. Bye-bye.
It's still a decent aircraft, but only because my team was decent. I hate to say it like that, but it's the truth. If your team's not really doing well and you start to get outnumbered in this thing, you're not really going to make any big splashes. There's a possibility, but generally no. Let's go ahead and pick off some ground targets here. Mm, might be able to hurt a light tank. We could go back and get missiles, but no. Yay. Ground target. Hey, an F-15. It's getting... No players left. Eh, some hits. We're really just spamming rounds, trying to get a last, you know, couple points in. Eh, we got an anti-mech. As for why he just killed me and lost himself 50,000 SO, I do not know. Now there's our flares and chaff. Like I said, you don't really need it at high tier. You can still turn 120s around. This is where I gave up on this jet. I said I had enough of it. The 120s were too powerful, and honestly, they really are. Well, let's go ahead and get the engines done. Oh, but yeah, I mean, it's not really much of a video. Sorry, I'm clearing my nose. Uh, the fulcrums right now, I know, are really powerful. So if you want to pull out your MiG-29s, then yes, you can uh, have some fun with them. The fact that the SMT is 3.3 just because they gave it four. They give it six? Okay, they gave it six R-77s. At that point, just play the SU-27 Elm. You get some extra killing power. Lose a little bit of agility, but the SMT is actually a brick. So... This right here, though, I have seen a lot fighting my F-14s, and it's dumb to fight against, but good at the same time that the Fulcrum gets to come back into play. And yeah, everything basically 9.7 and lower got a huge relief, so I can actually take out the SPSK again, or the Hunter, things of that nature I can actually go back and have some fun with. The MiG-23 only going up to 11.7, I'm not sure yet, I'm pretty sure it could sit there at 12.0, but... You know, what do I know? I'm not gaijin. I'm glad my MiG-21 R-13 got some relief. So yeah, I mean, there's some good in it and some bad in it. The Su-25 stays at the same area. I think the A-10 stayed at the same area also, 10.3, yeah. But it makes the Aviate a even better. Even more better. <laughs> this is on air about air realistic. Yeah, okay, I don't understand the A-6E tram went up. Like... You get four 9Ls. That's it. The F5C going to 11.0, I think that's kind of funny. F5E definitely need it to go up a bit. But yeah, I mean, what's your guys' experience so far with this? I know a lot of the Phantom players are really complaining right now, and I can't blame them. Um, that's the whole reason I'm playing the F14A early again. Guys, I put the artist skin on it. And a quick side note, I do like the artist skins, because some of them are really cool, and I like to support them, so... I'll rock those out. But yeah, let me know your experience with the new BR changes. I haven't seen too much myself unless I'm playing in that 12.0 area. The F-14B, I think, is going to be sidelined for a while. You are getting in a lot of top-tier matches, which, I mean, it did need to go up, but now it's fighting primarily the F-15Cs, which sucks. I mean, you still dunk on people with the AIM-54s. Don't let me lie to you. It's still hilarious when you whack somebody and... I'm like, oh no. He's like, oh yes. But it's still fun. So tell me what your thoughts are on the changes. I'm sorry for getting off topic. I have goldfish brain. I tend to jump from one thing to another. But yeah, just let me know how you guys are enjoying the BR changes. I think they're all right for the most part. I do think they need to be tweaked just a little bit. Not too much. Just a little bit. Some 0.3 changes here and there. 0.3, 0.4, you know, moving stuff around. Like this needs to go back down to 10.3 at least. It's got no business to be in 10.7 because you look at everything else 10.7. Yeah, because 10.7 is pretty much going to see 11.0, which puts you in the range of stuff that you don't really want to fight. And the Germans just have such a weird BR for their stuff already. The, the 104 is staying up in the air. The American 104s go up also. No! So, if you guys want to go seal clubbing 
and you want tech tree vehicles, there you go. You just run people down and then run away. You're at 9.3. You're literally the fastest jet, I think, at 9.3. And what does the C? The C actually get missiles is what it is. A9Bs. No, they get, both of them get A9Bs. I don't know why. I think the C gets just ground ordnance. But yeah, there it is. Quick video just to get it out there for you guys. Hope you all have uh, had a good day. Having a good day. And I'll see you next time. Later.